Fishtails. Come on, fishtails. I've cut the fins off and I've left the tail on. And the tail, when you fry it, goes beautifully crunchy and crispy and delicious and you can like gnaw all the way down to this part of the bone. It is super delicious. So they're prepped. I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious dredge in order to protect the fish while it's cooking, but to give it maximum flavor at the same time. And I'm gonna make a delicious, simple dipping sauce. I've got no idea what it's called. It's kind of reminiscent to a Nam Jim, but it's not a Nam Jim. Everything in it is very sort of Mediterranean, including fish sauce, which back in the old days in Rome, garum. That was the original fish sauce made with anchovies. So I'll show you that later. For now, let's get on with the dredge. Some flour, some corn flour, baking powder, and then what's gonna give us some delicious flavor, coriander, ground, freshly ground. And then we're gonna get some zest. I want two limes, one lemon. We're gonna give them a little zest up. This is the uh, painted Andy Allen technique of zesting. Where are you, Andy? Limes. I want two of these bad boys in here. And these zest in this flour are gonna be sort of like craggy. They're gonna sort of like stick out a little bit and fry and go crisp and delicious. So now we're just gonna mix this up carefully. And so this is what we are gonna dredge our fish in. So now what we wanna do is just squeeze the lemon all over your fish. And then we're gonna get loads of salt and loads of pepper all over, really nicely seasoned with salt. Now we just wanna make sure they are as wet as possible, so as, as much of that flour can stick. And just like we do with fried chicken, the more of those little bits of claggy sort of clumped flour there are, the more delicious this is gonna be. And it can just sit in the flour and absorb all the liquid and make them as dry as possible. And then you're gonna have a super crunchy fish. So I'm gonna leave them there while I start making a dressing. So I'm gonna use a tiny amount of garlic. We're gonna puree it because I don't like lumps of garlic. I want tomato, and we're gonna squeeze the juice of it into our bowl. There we go. And I just wanna do a little bit of old school tomato dice. Who would have thought, huh? Beautiful. I wanna do a whole lemon juice into our bowl. So you can already tell this is gonna be juicy, zesty, limey, lemony. Okay, next, honey. So this is gonna add sweetness. So there's about 20 mils. And fish sauce. Now, if I had garum, yeah, use garum, 30 mils. And what that's gonna do is add the saltiness and the seasoning of it is delicious. The honey is then sweet, so you've got this agrodolce, very Italian thing going on, sweet and sour. That's what's happening inside that bowl as we speak. And now I wanna bring the heat into this. I want it to be hot. Your choice of chili. I'm gonna use one of these long red guys. The reason I'm using one of these is because there's a volume of dice, which is gonna look beautiful. Believe me, you're gonna wanna dip the fishtail into this. It is stunning. So that can go straight in your bowl. Now our tomato can go in. And then lastly, some mint and basil. You can see I'm using my knife. I'm rocking it backwards and forwards. So I'm slicing through the herbs rather than going like that. And then you won't bruise the herbs. If you bruise the herbs, you get a weird flavor, man. It's like a dull, oxidized, nasty herb flavor. Whereas if you slice them, you get a beautiful, fresh, zingy flavor. Plus you get the joy of the aroma. They go in. All right, quick test. That is mental. It is so delicious. It's as punchy as a Nam Jim, but just reminds me of Italy in the summertime. I love it. Fish. So now these have been sitting here. Can you see they're sort of crusty and craggy with that flour? One, two, three. Make sure your fish is under the oil. The oil temperature started at 190. I put those three tails in, it's gonna drop down to about 170. 
and that's where you want your fry temperature to be between 170 and 180 maximum until they're golden brown. It's gonna take between six and eight minutes for those to be perfect. Remember the fish is on the bone, so it's gonna be more juicy and delicious because you're cooking the fish on the bone and then it's protected with this delicious dredge on the outside, which helps steam the fish inside and bring the flavor home. We've got a delicious dip here. Spin it in. It's looking pretty tasty right now. Let's get these fish tails out. One, two, chef hands straight out of the fryer. Whew. Salt. Oh, <laughs> look how crispy the tails are. So let's just arrange these guys nice and neatly. And there you go. A brilliant way to use the tail of a fish and a dip that will just smack you in the face with its sweet and sourness. It's delicious. Thanks for watching. And if you liked that, please click subscribe because there's plenty more where that came from. Also, if there's a recipe that you actually want to see me make, chuck it in the comments below and we'll get around to it. Thanks for watching.